They say cussing is a sign of a smart person. So I cuss a lot to make all of you think I'm smart. Jason here, and I'm going to be playing the game Bulb Boy for you. Of course, it's 3.20 in the morning, and I went to bed an hour ago, but, you know, uh, when you're trying to sleep and your girlfriend walks in and turns on all the lights and turns the TV on at full volume, it kind of makes it difficult for one to sleep, and it's all good, though. I don't want to go back. I don't, I don't want to sleep anyway, because I was trying to figure out an issue who the fuck am I kidding? I wanted to sleep, but, you know, your anger takes over and you're just like, Brr, and I was like, fuck it. I'm going to go ahead and fix this issue on this game. Well, not not game. Um, with the last few videos I've done on my end of the channel, I've basically been, been dealing with a, a headset mic, you know, like a cheap $11 mic. And I thought, you know, I run a podcast. I also uh, used to really do a lot of videos on YouTube and I, I was using a Shure SM7B mic and I thought why don't I just use that microphone for video games um, as well it's, it's not a pain in the ass so just hit record the only problem is I have to record into Pro Tools but the good part about that is I do all my editing on my Mac and I do all my recording on my little fucking shitty laptop here so the good part about it is all my audio is in Pro Tools and it's less I have to transfer over via Google Drive, and I can edit the audio better. So, so you guys uh, and gals get a uh, gals uh, get better audio on your end. Because some of you I know like to listen to dialogue in addition to watch these crazy games. And so, if I want to give you some audio, I might as well give you some good audio. So, with that being said, this game's called Bulb Boy. I don't know what that Japanese shit underneath Bulb Boy is. It's probably the same. I hate saying Bulb Boy. I feel like an idiot, but anyway, okay, so this it, this is one of the weirdest games I've ever played, but I say that in a good way. It's not a very long game, and the puzzles aren't too crazy, so it's not like a crate, you know, it's not an intense game, but it's it's quirky, it's cute, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's disgusting, is what it is, but all that is a good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, I just played this a few hours ago, so I'm kind of fresh. Because when I do these walkthroughs, I'm trying to play them first. Because I don't want to waste anybody's time trying to, like, you know, I don't want to... I've seen some of these walkthroughs on YouTube, and it's like, it takes people three hours to get through them. And that's fine, because it took me that long. But if I'm going to show everyone, if I'm going to entertain you know, everyone with these videos, I'm just going to, you know, cut to the chase. So, so but... <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, you have these, this little kid here in the middle. That's me. That's Bulb Boy. Bulb Boy. Bulb. Fuck that shit. I don't know. Anyway, that's his grandfather to the left, to his right. And it's his dog to the foreground. And it's kind of cool. It's a point and click game. And it really, you go around and the game kind of gives you clues as, as to what to do. Um, you'll see um, as I continue on with this game. So I'm just going to start clicking around here. I'm going to click on the TV. Go through some of these channels here. So here's dog. You can change the channels, which is kind of cool, I guess. If you ever play this, you can flip through and really watch these. I'm not gonna bother you with this. There's like fucking crazy girl from the ring, but it's a bulb, quirky. All right, so I'm gonna unplug this TV. Let me get out of the screen. So. So can't do much with him or her. Now, so here's the thing. Here, okay, I got my teeth in my mouth, and you can see I got my inventory up there. The thing, what makes these puzzles kind of easy? Like if I click on the store, it, it's telling me, okay, I need the, the TV is off, which you know that's that's done, because I needed to turn the TV off. I needed teeth, and I need the teeth to be in some kind of water. So those are my clues right there I need um, in order to get the fuck out of this room. So, all right, so I can't do anything. I got to click on the teeth, put it in the bowl. Yeah, 
this kid's fucking awesome, by the way. And, uh, okay, can't grab the bowl. Can't do anything with him. Let me see what I can do with the dog. All right, he ain't doing shit. There might be some puzzles that I'm kind of slow at, slow at still. So, uh, you'll have to forgive me. Yeah, I know I'm supposed to... Oh. That's weird, because I, I remember when I played this game before, I had to throw the teeth in the water. I think I had to throw it on the dog. So that's kind of weird. I, ho I hope this isn't one of those games that, like, every time you play it, it's, it, it's like a different thing. Because that's going to confuse me, and that's going to defeat the purpose of these videos, of me playing them first. So you guys want to sit through and watch me fucking play this. So I'll just entertain you with my voice, I guess. Like I said, this game's disgusting and it's weird. But that, that comes later on. See, the, this shows you kind of my attention to detail because, like, I'm the kind of person that will... Okay, obviously my grandfather's pissed off. I'm the kind of person who, whenever, like, I watch a movie, for example, I don't ever remember the movie. I could watch it, you know, a million times and not remember it. I'm, I'm the same way with video games because even though I just play this, I don't remember that part where... I, I was sleeping. So obviously I can't reach that little critter right there. So I have to go back and figure out a way to grab the critter. Well, I got a fucking mop right here. Cause that's how real life works. So the kid shoved the mop in his butt. And now I gotta grab my critter. Oh, I can actually click on the mop. There we go. All right. Now, the reason I'm grabbing this critter, um, the reason why I know I need the critter, let me show you. Because as you're running around this room, because at first this game is kind of confusing. Like, the gameplay mechanics are kind of confusing. But so now this, this spider, another game with a spider in it. So the spider is basically like, hey, bitch, I need three bugs. You need to get me three bugs. So I'm like, all right. Um, so I got to, so I got the first bug. And now I, there's a, a bug that's going to come out of here. So I need to, I need, um, all right, you'll see. So there's the bug. All right. So I know he's coming out here. I just don't know why yet. So I got to click on this candy. Um, you know, be, when I played this game before, um, I had some sort of clue. Oh, there it is right there. It eats, it loves candy. So I know now that the bug needs to go around this drawer to get this fucking candy. So I open up these scissors and now the bug, sh oh, no, I got to, I gotta start closing things so it can get around to its beloved candy. Yeah, I guess this game is acting sort of different from when I played it before. That's not good. Oh, now I got the bug. This game's also uh, a little morbid. So I shock myself and the light shocks the bug. And you'll see what I, what I mean by morbid in just one second. All right, so now the spider. Yeah, I'd be scared of the spider too, kid. They're no joke, man. When I used to work at Bring Home Security, I used to have to crawl into crawl spaces, and there was just one place. There's one over in California where there's all these black widows, and they're not as uh, crazy as people think they are. They're kind of slow, but. There was one house I, I refused to go underneath because I knew, like, there was, like, I already, like, right at the entrance of the crawl space, I saw, like, fucking six Black Widow spiders. And so I called my boss. My boss was like, oh, you're a fucking pussy. And I was like, no, look, dude, I don't care. Call me whatever you want. And so my coworker came out, and he crawls underneath the crawl space, and um, he calls me from under there on our work phone, and he's flipping the fuck out. 
because I guess he said there were like a there was like a city of them underneath the, the base or the the crawl space. Yeah, I don't remember those bunny eyes either. Oh no, I do, I do, I do remember that. Yeah, okay. But yeah, he was in a city of black widow spiders. So yeah, I'm not very happy. That's why whenever I was telling Jeremy and Doug today, whenever I, I play the forest. I'm always very uncomfortable because when I used to go into the crawl spaces, I would sit there for a long time. Like I'd open up the crawl space and just stare, sit and stare for like five minutes just to listen. Cause I don't want to be stuck underneath there with anything. Right, so this is, this this game has some weird sequences where it goes back and forth between like happy land and creepy. So this is one of the creepy lands. So, okay, so I got this little creepy fucking hand thing there. I got this um, drawer here, I'll just show you. I can't get into it. But I need to get in there. So, as you can tell, can't fucking do anything. So, let me um, remove my head so I can jump over this hand. My body will still follow my head. If you look underneath right around here, you'll see my body move. But I gotta jump over this hand now. Because if I didn't say this before, like, the big th underlying theme in this game is bulbs. And I guess my, my kid's character is a bulb. So I'm gonna jump down here and look outside. Even though it's just, you don't really need to, oh yeah, you need this piece of glass right here. But to the left, there's this little lady that appears. Well, she will in a second. See, yeah, that is weird. This lady should have, uh, in like one of those, you'll see the mask. Um, she appears right there and she, or she did earlier. I kind of like that though. I, it kind of like just adds to the replayability of this game where it's, I mean, I don't really necessarily like it for recording purposes because I just want to get through these games so you guys can just watch so I don't have to dick around. But anyway, I got to jump over this fucker. And now I'm going to jump back down on my head and I got to grab this key. And I grab it again. No. Um, you have to go back, you have to backtrack now just real quick, because in this, um, you'll see, but in this drawer, I have to get a can of oil. I don't know why, but when I was playing this game earlier, it reminded me, I, you know, when I used to live in Miami, um, I was in kindergarten, and I was the only white kid in the school, and I, uh, there was a kid's play, like a, the Wizard of Oz, and I was the Tin Man. And I remember, I don't know why, but one of the things as a tin man is I used to have to put those little fake tin cans of oil into my suit. And they told me like, whenever you squirt the oil in your suit, go chirp, chirp, chirp. And so I got this can of oil and I thought about that. And it's just such a random thought. Hadn't thought about that in a while. And why chirp? What, who, who, when has oil ever made the sound chirp? Okay, so now we gotta go back. This is another game. I'm so far out of the games I've been playing for you, for you people, you people. Um, oh yeah, he's gonna. All right, you're good, dude. Um, so far out of all the games I've been playing, um, I Inside and uh, Limbo are amazing. This game is pretty good too. I will give it that. I bought this game with a bundle. Um, so I put the oil in the armor to oil it up, and I have to put this little piece of glass on this scythe you, and to make it into a scythe, you'll see. But anyway, I bought this game with a, bu a bundle. Uh, w this game came with it, and then there was another game, like something in auto, I think. It looks, I'll, it'll probably be my next video that I make for you guys, as long as like it's good. But the other game, I, I, oh, I don't want to go in there just yet. Um, this other, yeah. Okay, let me get back off here. This other game I played was called Toby the Secret Mine. Don't even fucking bother with that game. The game was, it, it looked kind of like Limbo, but with color in some places, but it wasn't like Limbo in, in that it was hard in all the wrong places. Like I literally died every fucking five feet and it just got annoying. It wasn't even fun because you'd be walking along and 
you know, most of these games are predictable. So like you walk and you know, okay, this is going to happen here. And you know, the puzzles are more hard than anything. Well, this fucking game, nope, fuck it. Fuck it in the bucket. Cause it, it's just every five minutes dead. And I died, I think in like 40 minutes that I played it, I got like three quarters of the way through the game. And within 40 minutes I died like fucking, uh, I think I said 106 times I died. So I guess the game prides itself on, on you dying, which like with games like Dark Soul, that's fine. That's part of the experience. But this game, it, it can suck my dick. All right, now you have to get this water and, this, and these teeth poured on a grandpappy. Oh yeah, I got the bucket and... No, on your... What you, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, be terrified. All right, now I gotta get up in here, I think. Oh. And get ready for the slowest climb up a rope ever. And there's nothing you can do but wait. So now we get into the part of the game where it's like the happy, the happy part. I, I don't know what this means in, in reference to the actual game. I don't know if it's like fond memories, the grandpappy or whatever, but uh, yeah. So you gotta figure out these puzzles. All right, so this, this dog needs a ball. Uh, this bird needs an egg. Um, and so this is kind of tricky. So first thing you want to do is grab this stick. Right here, it's only three things. It's This one's not too hard, it took me a minute, but. All right, yeah, now you grab your egg. And uh, where was that? Ball. Oh, there's the ball. Okay. So that bird is acting like a creepy dude in the woods watching you. Just fucking his one eye. His one good eye. So the dog wants the ball. You gotta throw the ball at the dog. But what's gonna happen is the bird, like a dick, is gonna take the ball. Because he can't fly down and pick up the egg himself. So he's gotta take your ball. And so you now you gotta... Um, Okay, now you gotta take this stick. Which goes up the tree and brings out this bird, drops the ball. But now you put an egg in here. So now the bird's got its egg. And he's all happy. Yay! Okay, get your ball. Now, when I played this game before, I don't know if it's anything you can do to stop it, or maybe I got lucky here, but he may or may not catch it. You throw the ball, and yeah, it's gonna go into the well. So grab the bucket, or basket. You couldn't just carry the fucking basket? You gotta put it under your hat? You gotta wait for the ball to kind of bounce back into the basket, otherwise you're gonna miss it. Oh wait, do you? Can I? Yeah, you gotta wait. I thought maybe you could just pick it up. There we go. I will say, I like the music in this game a lot. Not like that fucking stupid game Toby. Like that, God, I hated that music. I hated everything about that game. Yeah. Oh, you fucking. Oh no, he goes and gets it. 
I hope, man. I don't want to do this all night. Oh, yeah, I guess he just doesn't give a fuck. You and Grandpa Bear are laughing while your dog is flying away with the carcass of a bird. Some normal, normal family shit right there. 3.40 in the morning. Still fucking awake. They say cussing is a sign of a smart person. So I cuss a lot to make all of you think I'm smart. Okay, so this is where, where, where shit gets real, okay? You got a little bathroom here. For right now, whenever you put your, your head, you, you use your head to kind of hide, right? And you'll see where that comes into play in just a second. Let me go ahead and grab this thing from this cheeseburger in here. I love the sound effects. Yeah, I guess I don't... I guess that's it. I guess... Yeah, I maybe you don't need to go in there. I don't know. Uh, you need to grab the knife. <laughs> And yeah, I think that's it. Let me see if I have to do anything with the knife and the cheeseburger. I don't remember. If it if you can't do anything, sometimes your character, yeah, sometimes your character will just beg, uh, -uh. Like, you fucking idiot, don't do that. All right, so I get back down. Now this pig is another place where you can hide your head. Now I'm gonna go in this fridge. And I'm, oh yeah, that's why I need the knife. I don't know what, I don't remember what this is, but you just gotta cut that first and then grab this piece of vagina. That's a big fucking vagina. There's a lot of vagina references in this game. So I got some worms, some eggs. Sounds like a meal that I would eat. Absolutely. And that's all I need. So now that I have my worms and my eggs, I come over here, and there's your oh shit moment. It's a bird with a neck that looks like an elephant trunk. So now you gotta hide yourself, because the bird will, that bird will kill you. And it's a pretty awesome death scene. There's a couple more hiding places off to the right, so that's okay. So once the bird passes you, you gotta go up here, you gotta grab some more things. You gotta grab this basket here. All right. Uh, I think that's it. But get ready, because that bird's gonna be coming back in a second. And that little trash can to your right is where you wanna hide your shit. So put, actually, you know what? I better get the fuck out of here right now. No, get move, bitch. Yeah, he's coming back. Come on, come on. Okay. Yeah, when you're cooking, you can see, you can, if you listen closely, and if you watch the stove, you can see the shaking and hear the, the bird. Once he turns around, you're safe. You can, like, get out of there. He won't bother you. I put the rest of your ingredients into this little concoction here. Turn on the gas, turn on the oven, and get the fuck out of here. And you what? It should be baking soon. See, did I forget something? Oh. Last time I did this, the game just stopped, stopped on me, it crashed or whatever, but... I guess so far it's good. Or maybe you have to wait until the chicken almost gets you. Yeah, because right now I ain't doing shit. I can't even move my character. Yep, still waiting.
and who knows, maybe it'll kill me. So yes, you see what that looks like. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know why that is. Like I, I just couldn't. I, I couldn't move. I couldn't do anything. But that's the death scene, and now uh, you're gonna be put back here, so you'll be able to pull out whatever it is that you needed to pull out. Oh, by the way, when you die, you have to click on your mouse button, otherwise you just hang out there forever. Alright, so now, now that my game just didn't freeze up, because again, you're gonna, you're gonna, uh, that's the only time I think in the game that happens where it just freezes where you can't do anything. But yeah, again, when you die, just click on your mouse button, otherwise you're gonna sit there on that screen forever. This kid's a fucking twisted fuck. This is me at Thanksgiving. So now that I've eaten that entire chicken, my character has to take a massive shit. Watch his face. Just watch him. Oh shit. Okay, keep going. Yep, I know, I know, we're, we're trying. So now when you go in this door, you're actually going into the room as opposed to be, as opposed to before where your character actually just um, hid. Okay, so now there are a couple things you have to do in this, um, in this part because this is one of the big bosses. And it's an amazing big boss. It's probably one of my favorite big bosses that I've ever encountered. This also reminds me of Thanksgiving. This part right here. Big vagina mouth. All right. So now the first thing I do, or I don't know what order this goes in. It's just something that I did um yeah you move over it fucks up its face and now it's pissed so you just kind of tap your button so it doesn't hurt you so go to your little sink here and what did I do I turned this on it's coming closer you can see it in the screen and that's really all you can do right now. So again, you tap your button in a second. Fuck, what did I do? You gotta grab this thing. Let me go back over here. So it's coming after you. There we go. You tap your button. So you gotta fuck around with this thing for a while because um, you gotta you gotta allow it to come after you and yeah the the good smelling stuff managed to uh, freak it out. So again, go back to your sink. You're not gonna be able to do anything yet, though. You gotta let it come to you to scream at you. Tap 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 tap. While its vagina mouth screams at you. There it is. Come on, give me that fucking. All right, tap, 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 tap. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. There it is. So you need that. So essentially, you have to let this thing yell at you for a while. All right, put that little thing back here. You gotta twist it. Now turn on your water. And at this point. You to come over here and flush it down the toilet. I think this is it. Keep tapping. Oh, Jesus Christ, guy. Oh, maybe I gotta spray that again. That's right. Spray that again. Now you flush it down the toilet. So yeah, 
Welcome to my Thanksgiving, everybody. My hand is really close to my pop filter, so if, if I bump it a few times and I fail to to edit that out, uh, you know, sorry, I guess. No, no, I am sorry. That's a shitty thing to do to not edit that out because I'm a, I'm a, I'm stingy when it comes to that kind of shit, and I expect more from the people that I watch. So I truly am sorry. Now this puzzle is kind of easy. It, this one I had, uh, I'm ashamed to say I had to watch a video because I couldn't figure it out. But basically, now in this situation, you have control of your dog. Um, in most of these little happy places, you'll have control over different things. So this kid needs a worm. You, your character needs a worm. So you take your dog and you're like, all right, let me go get a worm. Let me go down here. And this fucking piece of shit frog pushes you out of the way. So you got to feed him to death. So you gotta go down, lick some water. All right, this sign basically says, water to the tree equals beets, I guess. I guess. It produces beets. I'm not familiar with beets, but I'm pretty sure beets don't come from trees. But if anybody knows more than me, uh, go ahead and correct me. All right, so now my dog pisses into the tree and produces beets. I'm going to push these beets into the frog's mouth so I can overfeed it. And you'll, you'll figure out the mechanics. It's not too hard. So if any, any of you are wondering... Come on, man. If any of you are wondering what I look like... Um, go ahead and look at that frog. That's a good uh, depiction of me. Get that fucking... See, yeah, there we go. It's like herding cats. It's exactly what this is like. I love the art, uh, the art direction in this as well. I love the style in general. You gotta feed him some more. He's crying. I bark at him, scare him. All right. Out of there, bitch. Go ahead and get my little, little worm. This deer is millions of years old. So are these TV below it. TVs. Um, but yeah, bark at it. The worm sounds like it's gulping something down. It's awesome. The fuck is that below me? You see that? It's like a little claw. Oh, uh, let me go back. There we go. You hit the drop down menu, you have your help menu, and you have your menu menu. I almost actually quit the game there on accident. Grandpappy sleeping.
All right, so this is directly after that monster shit. I <laughs> get it, Mon <laughs> monster shit. Uh, pulls your head down into the toilet, and this electric eel, for some reason, loves you and brings you back to life. <laughs> And then you just point and click. You don't have to do this very long. And you find yourself a little fish costume. And these worms, you gotta watch out for because they like to hurt you. But you just you lead them to this guy right here. And they don't really do much. Oh, no, gotta go this way. Really not much to say at this part. So I'll keep shutting up. This is where Angry Birds went to die. Oh, see, yeah, you gotta watch out for him. That's what happens when the worms get you. But I needed to get to that fish. Yeah, click. I just forgot. Here I am teaching you all how to how to click, and I forget to do it. Oh, that's right. So let this worm start chasing you. There we go. Go ahead and hide in this clam. Not good. That's right, you're a fish now. I kind of don't remember where I'm going right now, so just bear with me here. I mean, it's pretty linear, if that's the proper term, so you just kind of... There's not a lot of places to get lost. There's one spot at the very end that's kind of a pain in the ass that's going to take me a minute. So I'm forewarning you now. I don't think those guys really do a lot of damage to you, but you still kind of want to steer clear of them. That looks like a lot of fun, but fear not, your buddy's going to come back to help you. Yep, whoops. All right, so basically that dude is there. What's over here? I forget. Oh yeah, this is where your buddy comes back to, to help you out. No, I love his hat, by the way. Oh, you can sh you can click on him and he'll shock the water, but he won't. It won't hurt you. So basically, he's a good guy. So you talk to this fucking dopey fish. You're like, can I get your mind? And he's like, fuck no. I want a fucking snail. And you're like, okay. So you gotta go up here. Uh, 
Yeah, I didn't even see those worms. How did I do that? Alright, just give me a second. I keep forgetting to click the mouse button after I die. Okay, let's, let's try this again. So you know what you have to do, so you don't you don't have to talk to the fish again. So go up. Let let these worms see you. taken care of those worms sorry you know I, I know I talk with a slur but man tonight I'm extra slurry Get yourself a worm. Or not worm, a uh, snail. Once you get the snail, you gotta cook it before the fish will eat it, because that's how that's how fish work. Whenever you feed a fish, you gotta cook a food. Cook the food for it. Otherwise it's gonna tell you to fuck right off. Grab your snail. And get your dead snail and feed it to the fish. And as you both agreed, you get your mine. Sort of have to kick it into place. Now he's gonna spit the mine back at you. Um, I knew that, but I just wanted to show you first. So before you kick the mine into his eyeball, or what used to be his eyeball, he's gotta get drunk off of this, I guess, grape, grape wine or something. Now, conveniently, his eye is in the shape of a mine. Kaboom. Now, oh, once that's done, you gotta go. I didn't show it to you before, but in the same room that the snail is in, there's a, uh, a mine, or uh, like a little trigger here. Oh, you gotta actually click on it. <laughs> Was that funny? You ended a life. I don't realize how repetitive this level was, but no, get your get your worms. Um, yeah, you can't avoid them. You have to let them get shocked again. Okay. Alright, let's go back up. I love how this game's getting 17 frame rates a second. Okay, run, kid. He sound like whenever he gets electrocuted, he sounds like that woman on that news um, show when she was stepping in the grapes and she fell off. Listen. <laughs> Possibly one of the funniest videos ever.
All right, so now you control Grandpappy. You gotta get your little uh, faucet. Actually, you know what? That faucet doesn't come off yet. You gotta water that plant though. But in order to do, to, uh, to do that, you need this bucket. You gotta tap because the grandpappy fell asleep, so. Yep, wake him back up. Jesus Christ, dude. You gotta water the strawberry. Now this strawberry is gonna turn out to be one of the coolest looking things in the game. Yeah, that's really it for this part of the level. I don't understand why that was funny. But, you know, maybe I just don't get the joke. But I, I do like how it adds a level of creepiness to the overall game. Just like, what the fuck are they laughing at? So now you are going to be back in a second. You're going to be back in in this little uh, greenhouse thingy. <laughs> wait, wait till the spider gets below you. Because you have to jump into him. So the first thing you need is a little faucet. Grab that. Who you majiggy? You got your dog here. You got this little thing you can water. See, so you can't really do much yet. See, so you're climbing around. And look, there's a strawberry face right there. Now he's pissed. So, the thing about him is he's going to shoot acid at you. And you gotta provoke him, so let him shoot the acid and run. Alright, so he's gotta shoot the acid again. And now it drops to the floor. So you have that part. Now you need a bucket. Oh shit. Let me go around this guy. Now, you need to get in here, but that this right here, this little pipe will block it. So you have to, like, get behind this bathtub. There we go. Oh, now he's got to shoot again at the... Well, no. No, yeah, that's right. Don't worry, he ain't going to hit you with that pipe. All right. Mm. Yeah, I can't do shit yet, I know. So now attach your faucet to the toxic waste. And take your bucket and fill it up. And now take your bucket and save your dog. how I look when I wake up in the morning. Alright, you and Fido are free. Oh, 
No. no what about Graham Happy? Oh, that's right. You're still in your spider costume. I forgot. I'm like, what the fuck is that? All right, so we're coming up on our next bad guy. This one's not too. This one's. This one took me a minute. So you have two things here. You have yourself that you control underneath the the crawl space right here. So you go back and forth, and then you have your dog up here that you control. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on this switch right here. Cause this switch you'll see leads to this vacuum a little further down. So you go here and then you grab this, this uh, tape. That was funny. All right, see, so yeah, I grab my tape. I have to go over here. I have to connect this wire, these wires. And now that the light's on, now my dog can scare these bats over to this light over here. And he won't. Yeah, he won't go in the. He won't go in the dark. Yeah, you got. He has to basically like. Scare the. Yeah. Stock's a big giant pussy. Okay. I know he has to scare those bats, but. Oh, that's right, that's right. I have to roll myself over to illuminate this part. Now the bats get stuck in this gelatin. All right, so now that's done. I have to get my tape. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I have to get my tape and I have to wrap it up over here in this vacuum. Oh, I, I didn't do that. So that's awesome. Wrap up the fucking hose. And now I turn on the vacuum. I can't turn on the vacuum yet. Okay, that's right. So, um, can I? Yeah, I, I, I don't want to go under here because this is an open floorboard and this weird bunny can get me. So, let me use the dog as a decoy. Nope, back over here. Alright, so the dog distracted him. Now this fucker's gonna feast on the bats. So now I grab my tape, or not my tape, my little... Well, it looks like a vacuum tube. Which is kind of funny, because it's not a... This is a vacuum, but vacuum tubes... As far as I know, don't go into vacuums. They go into things like guitar amplifiers and radios. But I guess that could have been intentional. Now I flip the switch. All right. I love how you how you kill this boss too, by the way. And I get my body back right here. Alright, so I gotta get out of this fucking snot and watch how I kill this bad guy. This is prob probably one of the most epic kills of all time. You basically, you saw the heart, you love him to death. <laughs> this guy, a heart that comes out. 
And you just leave the bats in the snot. That's it. You're fine. You leave the bats in the snot. And uh, this is the last part of the game, actually. So you go to your grandfather. Uh, this part isn't a short part. It, 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 you have to do a couple things. Vagina monster. So you have to go inside that vagina. But before you do, you have to like push this thing. There's three sequences that you have to go through. And this is the first one. So now you enter its pussy. It's big gaping pussy. And you see this is the, these are the insides of the monster. And there are a couple things you have to do and again, it's three different steps you have to do. And the only hard part of this is trying to figure out how to get through its teeth. And it gets harder each time. And so you have to kind of memorize uh, the pattern. Okay, so I don't want to go just yet. I'm going to let the first... So it's two and two, so... So you got this little blowy thingy. You gotta sit here for a second. You kind of center yourself on it. Yeah, I love the music at this part. It's awesome. All right, so you don't want to go forward yet because that thing will blow you up into that black spike. So just give it a second. There we go. And again, yeah, you actually do want to jump up there. So just wait, so you have to jump over this section right here. Where did my mouse go, man? That was fucking stupid. Don't go to this part right here. Or that part to the left. Right, right there, because I think that thing will eat you. So, now you end up here, and this took me a minute, but you have to click on this thing right here. And I guess you just close it up. I don't know what part of the body... Um, this monster is, but anyway. Now you've pissed this thing off. But you've killed a part of its insides, so it's it's all good. So you gotta basically get out of this thing's way, otherwise it'll eat you. And it, and just like the other, just like the mouth, it um, each time it does something different. So it does this three times, and then it falls back to sleep. The second time it tries to suck you in um, three times, and the third time it does like a combination of moves. So that part's done. You go back in this big, giant, gaping pussy. And now basically this, this pattern isn't so hard. You just, it's a sequ sequential, I guess. So you just keep, oh shit. Oh, bitch. Ah, uh, fuck. Man, how did... Okay. Is that the first time I died in this game? Yeah, it doesn't kill you a lot. But yeah, you know, I, I do like the puzzles. I do... I think this game, for me, is more of the story that kind of draws me in. I might die again. No? Nice. So this part... You, you can't go in here yet. You have to go down, or those hard doors. You have to go down. And uh, let me go right. So this part, this part coming up right here didn't take me long to figure out. Um, and I'm proud to say that I didn't uh, look up, look this up. But you have to let this thing shit on you, basically. So you just gotta wait. Come on, stay right there, there we go. I guess if you click on him, it'll stop moving. Yeah, so now you're covered with shit. Because if you don't cover yourself with shit, these little parasites will get you. You just jump up in here. And I'm not sure what it does, but eventually these little parasites die.
Because this game is fresh, I, I kind of know how to do the third part with the teeth. So I'm going to show you guys like the easiest way to kind of get through that. Uh, like the trick that I, it's basically just numbers you have to mem memorize. All right. So now he's going to suck you in. You got to keep clicking the other way. You guys know how to play video games. I don't need to tell you that. All right. And when he runs, there's no place he stops, really. Like, he just runs until he sees you, essentially, above him. So go as far away as you can and then try to go back the other way. But again, I'm sure all of you play video games, so you don't, I don't have to tell you that. So one last thrust into this open, gaping pussy hole. So, okay, so right here. Wait a minute. Oh no, this is different. So basically, you have to make it one, two. Oh shit, I'm not gonna remember this. All right, so if I end up dying a lot in here, um, just I'll skip it. But yeah, it does this twice at some point. It does that. Yeah, so it's the first two don't move twice, second two don't move twice, and then the third two don't move twice. Yeah, there we go. And now you're good. Yeah, the first two don't move twice, the second two don't move twice, and the third two don't move twice. Now, I don't, I can't get, I mean, I can get through the doors, but I, I'm, I shouldn't yet. Actually, I can't. I, I can get through the doors, I just can't go any farther than that, so. That's right. I think there are four sequences, not three. Yeah, because that part, this part up here, I can't get through, and this little part, I can't get through. Um, yes, that's the antacid tablet. That's right. Okay, so there's a, a pool of acid here, and you have to get over that. So you have to go to this ear that's, for some reason, inside next to a pair of jeans that looks like it has a bloody crotch and uh, you eat this hot dog which is going to make you very very sick so eat that fucking hot dog and throw the so don't I wouldn't necessarily go over that yet I'd wait a second wait to the second time there we go now go There we go. Okay, so that's gonna dissolve this acid here, which is gonna stop the acid gas in the next part, which is right, you see it right there, right below the teeth. So you're gonna do one last little fight with this monster. Oh, he's fucking raging, raging pissed. Is that a term? Raging pissed? I don't know, that's what I was about 30 minutes ago. I'm gonna interrupt my sleep. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, he'll suck you in. Or, he'll try to suck you in. Love the techno music. Really not much to say here, you just click back and forth. Alright, now he's back asleep. Alright, so this next part, I won't let you down with the teeth. So, I was wrong last time. This is the last time.
Okay, I finally made it through. And now I go into this love door. All right, so now you get to this bad guy or whatever this thing is and you gotta fight him, but it's, it's a really easy fight. It just takes a minute. And really he's gonna shoot this, this like shit at your mouth. And you just gotta keep tapping him with your tongue. And as soon as he sees his mouth, stop tapping. Cause if that shit goes inside of your mouth, you're dead. But you can tell if you're beating him cause his eyeball will fucking start crying. Cause he's a bitch. Yeah, I just ate shit and died. <laughs> I ate shit. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna fast forward through some of this part. <sighs> hardest, hardest boss fight ever. Oh my God, I'm exhausted. So exhausted. All oh, that breathing made me dizzy. Easy there, Grandpa. Easy. Chill out. You're creeping the kids out. And so everybody's happy. What? Yeah, I don't... I can't... I don't understand what they're saying. It's not Grandpa's having a heart attack. Or he's just faking it for attention. So I go over to him. And butt rape him until his bone comes out of his mouth. Alright, now that you're done with that, you go to the TV, and that's it. So yeah, that's the game. Um, all in all, like I said before, I, I really like this game. I thought it was uh, pretty creative, and there were some difficult parts, but it was just a visually stunning experience. And for someone like me, um, I love... I love visually stunning games. Um, they don't have to look realistic as long as they, the artistic direction is great. I'm really happy. And even though I, even though the, even though the story was kind of like I got what was happening, you know, I liked a lot of the gross things about it. So anyway, great game. Um, I'm gonna either try to go back to sleep or I'm gonna play another game, um, or work on my podcast or I don't fucking know. But anyway. Thank you all for watching. Good night, bitches.